Okay. And we're back. Hello, and welcome to UR Comp News. I am Steve Brown. I'm in for Jack Hoving, who's refusing to do the news until the Starbucks Workers Union gets the rights. It deserves. <laughs> I can't. Can we? Can I get a button? Like, yeah. <laughs> I think we all. I think Saving we all need the little guy, Jack Hoban. Yeah. We all need a button like that for sure. Our first story today is that Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas. By the way, love Allure of the Seas. I could live on Allure of the Seas, although not in the near future. Apparently, it's going to be undergoing a modernization project during its dry dock. That's in early 2025. Now, the project was originally planned for 2020, but of course, we all know what happened uh, to the cruising industry that year. President and CEO Jason Liberty said that the $165 million in upgrades are both for guest experience as well as environmental friendliness. Now, cruisers on the Allure can expect new water slides, dining venues, bars, lounges, and aspects that have proven successful on Quantum and Oasis-class ships. Now, speaking of renovated ships, Margaritaville at Sea is going to be launching their second ve vessel. Uh, Islander is coming in June. It will be sailing to Key West in Mexico. Additionally, Margaritaville at Sea will be extending its Heroes Sail Free program to the Islander with President and CEO Kevin Sheehan Jr. stating, to show our sincere gratitude for their ongoing service, we wanted to offer these frontline heroes a chance to kick up their boots and work shoes, and kick off their boots and work shoes, and flip flop into a relaxing getaway. So that's a great program. If you're one of our weekly free play winners for Margaritaville, be sure and check out the uh, new dining experiences, the adults only poolside lounge, 12 story atrium, and three story poolside bar that will debut on the Islander. And yep. we've got the gambler sale free program with yes, Margaret. That's right. We do that. So you, you can either gamble or go serve. So. Yeah, yeah, one or the other. Uh, our last story takes us to Las Vegas, the strip in Vegas, where something very near and dear to us Texans is happening. It's a two story Whataburger, it is opened <laughs> on the strip. It's open 24-7, and for those unfortunate to have not experienced Whataburger, which is undoubtedly the best fast food in the world, says right here, uh, the team will now uh, tell you about our favorite items to order at Whataburger. Uh, I, th I like the patty melts, I think. Is this the first one out of Texas? Not out no, of Texas, no. but certainly in Vegas. Okay. Uh, favorite Whataburger order. I like the honey butter, or what is it, the barbecue chicken strip sandwich? Honey barbecue yeah, chicken strip sandwich. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> well, anyway, let us know in the comments if you think you are a cop should send Joel, Joel to, to Vegas to get some footage. By the way, this uh, was all written by Joel. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't tell. Uh, now the coolest spot in Vegas, the Whataburger, uh, there on the Strip. And that's it for this week's UR Comp News. All right, great stuff. I'll right. save my money and go to in Burger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go Niners, go in Yeah. <laughs> um, we have, we do have some Whataburger fans in the comments. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Jessica Vestal, she's from Florida, and she says, yeah, Whataburger. And we also have Ryan Wallace, who's a new member. Woo! All right. Hey, Ryan. He loves the double with spicy ketchup. Okay. Yeah. 